Hi, Mary here from createwithmary.net. Thanks for joining me today for Making Envelopes 101. Today I have the Stampin' Up! Envelope Punch Board. It comes with the bone folder. And on this side is your corner rounder. And this tip right here will be your score guide. You can make your envelopes out of using the Stampin' Up! envelope paper, which is found in the annual catalog, or any of the 12 by 12 designer series paper. Today we're going to be making one out of cardstock by using the Whisper White. This does make a little bit heavier envelope than the other two, but it works just as well. If you want to make an envelope to match your beautiful handmade card, Here's your answer. So we're going to go ahead and get started today. Now in here you'll see a chart and they'll give you what your card size is, what paper your size you're going to need, and where you're going to start scoring. And it'll make 69 different size envelopes. So today we're going to make one for A2 card, which is four and a fourth by five and a half. It says we're going to need an 8 inch by 8 inch piece of paper and we're going to start our first score at 3.5. So you're going to put it in, line it up at 3.5, punch, and score coming from here all the way down. You're going to take another turn. You're not going to go to the 3.5 now. You're going to line your score, previous score line up with this tip. You're going to punch again and score. Turn it one more turn, line that score, previous score line up with this gauge right here. Punch and score. Turn it your last time Again, lining it up with the previous score line, punch, and score. This is what it'll look like. You're then going to turn your envelope punch board around. You're going to insert each one of your corners in and round your corners. And this is it for the punching. I will say if you're using the envelope paper or the designer series paper, you're only going to want to finger press your score lines. Because we're using cardstock, which is heavier, we're going to go ahead and burnish all of our score lines. And you will see that you have two shorter ones which are your sides. The larger ones is your top flap and your bottom flap. And to close them, I use the Tombow liquid adhesive. You're just going to put some right down this edge. And remembering a little bit goes a long ways. and press down, fold up your bottom. Today we're going to line our envelope. So I have cut out a square of designer series paper, 4 inch by 4 inch, and again with the envelope punch board, we're just going to round three corners. Then around one, and go directly across from your second one. And you're just going to insert it and you'll see how it's going to line up. So again with our Tombow, we're just going to apply it around the three sides. You don't want to apply it to the bottom because your designer series 
paper is going to have to move with the envelope. Insert it. Fold down on the score line again. And with your bone folder, give it a good crease. And that's all there is to it. Makes a darling card that you can coordinate to go with your handmade card. Thanks for joining me today. And of course, too, before I leave, you can also use the Stampin' Up! Snail to put your envelope together. And until later, happy everything. Bye.